Hey guys, it's Mangle here with the Mario Kart 8 200cc track guide. So the track we'll be covering in this video is Big Blue. For the spiral at the beginning of the course, the optimal way to do this is to do it all in one drift while staying close to the center of the spiral and veer outward to hit the boost pads. However, with the initial item insanity, this might not be the safest route. So consider taking the turn outward and building up coins first, and maybe play it even more safe and take the upper route for these conveyor belts. For the first set of conveyor belts, go onto the green path, and for the other conveyor belts, you can use a combination of your brakes and the red conveyor belts to slow yourself down for the turns. However, a faster way to get through the conveyor belts is to pass the second set of conveyor belts without braking, and then drifting between the off-road and the red conveyor belts for the last two conveyor belts. After the gliding section, swoop down to the coin booster pads and get a few coins. Also, watch out, this is a great spot for sniping with items. And now we're onto the area that's most notable for its shortcuts. When this right turn begins, do a drift to the left, and point the control stick diagonally upward to point yourself downward and land on the road below. You can also do this from the right-hand path. Also, there's a shortcut here that saves even more time. Take the left-hand path and begin a drift to the right, and then hold your drift in the air. While in the air, angle your control stick diagonally downward, and once you're above the road, release your mini-turbo. And if using an inward drifting bike, charge an orange mini-turbo beforehand, release the mini-turbo, and hop right as you go off the edge. While in the air, hold back on the control stick to glide across the gap. One thing to keep in mind about this gliding section is that first place will get a very far distance from the other racers, and since the game's item distribution is determined by distance, powerful items will appear more often, so don't be surprised if a second place blue shell or lightning bolt appears. This conveyor belt section is very simple. Just chain the boost pads and try to stay off the red conveyor belts as much as possible. When the road up ahead splits, take the green path, because it's faster to stay on one path rather than slow down to switch paths for an upcoming shortcut. And to do that shortcut, simply drift off right here and cut off a lot of the turn. You can also drop down and grab the item box, which might come in handy at the last second. Okay, that'll do it for this 200cc track guide. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.